Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video uh, will deal with, I suppose it's it's a it's a straightforward proof, yeah, uh, that the sample mean x bar is an unbiased estimator of the population mean mu. Okay, so let's just keep in mind what we mean by an unbiased estimator. Uh, let's say, for argument's sake, that we have some sort of population. Okay, so we have some sort of population. Here's our population. Okay, and let's say that this population has a mean value of mu and let's say it has a variance of sigma squared. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, randomly select uh, samples from this particular population. Okay, so we're going to randomly select samples. Okay, so we'll select a sample, let's call this S1. This sample has a mean value of let's say x1 bar and we continue to take samples from this particular population, let's say sample S2 which has a mean value of x2 bar and so on and so forth. We take our nth sample from the population, let's call this Sn and this has a sample mean of xn bar. Okay. So what we mean by a by a that the sample mean is an unbiased estimator of the population mean is that when we consider all of these samples, let's say n samples that have been randomly selected from some population, where this population has a mean value of mu and has a variance of sigma squared, okay. So when we consider these n samples, and when we calculate the sample means for each one of these uh, n samples, uh, we end up with a distribution of sample means. Okay, so we end up with, we end up with, we end up with a distribution, a distribution of sample means. Okay, sample means. Okay. Uh, and when we say that the sample mean is an unbiased estimator, what we mean is that this distribution of sample means, okay, that this distribution of sample means, okay, that when we take n samples of the sample means, okay, of our x bars, okay, and when we plot the distribution, that the expected value of this particular distribution is the population mean, is mu. Okay. It's unbiased in the sense that uh, no matter how many samples that we take of a particular size, as n gets larger and larger, the more samples that we take, okay, the better the estimator is okay, with respect to the distribution. Okay? But uh, all of these distributions will have a mean value uh, of mu, which is the population, population mean. Okay? So we'd like to show that the expected value also known as the mean value, okay, of the of the sample mean, okay, is unbiased. Okay, so let's assume, okay, let's let's just do this here. Let's say our proof. Okay. So here's our proof, uh, and let's assume let's let's say x one bar. Oh, sorry, let's say x one, uh, x two x3 all the way through to xn, let these uh, random, I suppose, selections, or these random observations from a population, let these, this particular sequence be, let's say, n independent, independently, uh, randomly selected, randomly selected observations, observations, okay, uh, drawn from from a population okay, with mean with mean mu and variance variance let's say sigma squared okay so this selection of observations that have been randomly selected from this particular population and this population has a mean mu and a variance sigma squared uh, they're independent and they're being randomly selected so let's actually calculate what the expected value of x bar is okay so the expected value okay of our sample okay, or of our sample mean uh, is simply equal to the expected value of I suppose what feeds into the sample mean okay and what's going to feed into the sample mean is all of these values here x1 plus x2 plus all the way down to xn okay divided by small n the sample size okay so the expected value of the sample mean is the same as the expected value of 
what's composed or what makes up the sample mean. Now, our laws of expectation say that a constant uh, times uh, any random variable is the same as the constant times the expected value of the random variable. So what we can actually see here is that this is the same as the expected value okay, of 1 over n okay, times okay, x1 plus x2 plus all the way through to x, xn. Okay? And one of our rules says that the expected value of a times a random variable is the same as a times the expected value of the random variable. Okay? So we can take this particular constant outside of the expectation and this becomes the expected value, sorry, it becomes 1 over n times the expected value of x1 plus x2 plus all the way through to, to x to xn. Okay? And we also know, in relation to expectation, okay, that the expectation of a summation of random variables is the same as the sum of the expectations. Okay? And let's keep in mind that each one of these are random selections and they're also independent okay, of each other. So this is the same as the sum of, so this is going to be 1 over n times the sum of the expectations. So it's the expectation of x1 plus the expectation of x2, plus all the way through to the expectation of x of xn. Okay? Now, we know that each one of these x1 true to xn's uh, are n independently random selections from a particular population that has an expected value of mu, okay, has a mean value of mu, and has a variance of sigma squared. So the expected value of each one of these particular observations should be mu. And what we have here is we have n of the observations. So actually this particular summation becomes equal to, okay, let me just move this up. Okay. So this particular summation uh, becomes equal to 1 over n times, well the expected value of x1 is simply mu, plus the expected value of x2 is mu, plus all the way through to the expected value of xn is also mu. It's the average of the population that they've been drawn from. That's what we would expect to happen. And don't forget there are there are n of these particular n of these particular uh, variables uh, that have been randomly selected or n of these selections. Okay? So this is times n times. Okay? Which is the same as 1 over n times times n times mu because there's n of these which simply gives us, well, the n's cancel n into n gives us 1, which gives us mu. Okay, so what we've shown here is that this implies that this implies that the expected value of the sample mean is equal to mu, the population mean, uh, as expected. Okay, so that's just a short little proof uh, to show that the expected value uh, of the population mean, or sorry, of the sample mean, is in fact the population mean. Or more importantly, what we've actually shown here is that the expected value being equal to the population mean, which by definition uh, makes X bar an unbiased estimator of the population mean. Uh, so guys, uh, once again, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope this video was somewhat helpful.